And speaking of money and things that weren't free, taxes. Hey, great news, everyone. We survived tax day. Today, April 16th, is a day accountants all over the country have been waiting for. But as they rejoice, are you repulsed? Don't. As in, are you physically sick mm. from filing your taxes or even thinking about finances? Turns out there is a very strong connection between financial anxiety and physical and mental health, mm. especially over the long term. Time Magazine looked at this. They found, not surprisingly, there are so many things to worry about when it comes to money. <laughs> Making ends meet, struggling to afford rent, inflation at the grocery store, so many companies going through mass layoffs right now. All that worry can lead to physical ailments, things like heart disease, high blood pressure, headaches, insomnia, ulcers, back pain, arthritis, even asthma. All at once? <laughs> that's a bummer. That's I think really it can stunt your growth too. That's what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it makes was. a lot of sense. Okay. Makes a lot of so sense. So it does beg the question: What can you do if you are constantly stressed about finances? First off, these reporters at Time, who spoke to several experts about this, say: Come up with a plan. Start saving what you can via budgeting, and do whatever you can to de-stress. Whether that's meditating, yoga, working out, and trying to take care of yourself. Mm. Easier said than done. Well, yeah. How does the old country song go? There's too much month at the end of my money. You know, it's when you're looking at the checks and balances and you're you're working out the, the balance in your checking account and you just realize, I don't know that mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to make mm -hmm. ends meet. I don't care what you advise somebody to do. It's going to be hard to take that kind of anxiety off your plate, mm -hmm. right? And it's always there. It's just always there in the back of your Even head. Even if you feel like you're comfortable, you think to yourself, boy, I'm it's one slip up the house or of one cards. hospitalization. Just, or, yeah, yeah, right, one job loss right. away from ugliness. Yeah. All right, we're just getting started on this Tuesday morning, and it's always a great day to give back to our area first responders. But here at First Alert 4, we're helping you do just that during our first responder day of giving, and that's tomorrow. First Alert 4 is part